Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and today I'm going to show you how to make wings. Not just any wings, it's going to be fairy wings. And it's going to be pretty much how we did the demon wings, but a little different. So, uh, yeah, they're going to be like fairy butterfly wings or whatever. And we're going to do it in four parts. So what we're going to do is, first we're going to do a freehand group. Um, we're going to make sure the mirror is on. And then we're going to take it down. And widen it. Pretty much as wide as you want your wings to go. We're gonna make this fairy goddamn princess. Put the wings out to here. That was part of the thing I'm gonna here. All right, I'm gonna turn the mirror off. I'm gonna pull this part forward so it's out of my way. And then I'm gonna kind of pull this in. And we will fix this later on uh, in Unity. Like that. <clears throat> now we're going to take our brush and we're going to make sure we're set to flat. We're going to be straight. I'm going to make it all the way up. Make sure our width is all the way up, the thickness is down. It doesn't really matter about that, but we'll figure it out later. <clears throat> and from the center, we're going to draw out. You know what we're actually going to do? We're going to put the mirror mode back on. And then, from the center, we're going to draw out here and then out down here. And then with the select tool, we're going to grab the free hand, and then we're going to make these really wide. Really, really wide. And we're going to take these ones. You know what? Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to redo that. Alright. <clears throat> so, we're going to make, uh, there's going to be four of them. I'm going to do short little ones. So I like to be able to adjust them a lot easier. All right, and we're going to grab this freehand group and we're going to do wine, thickness down to down to nothing. Thickness don't do shit. What? All right, so this looks a little weird, but so the ones that are going to the top, we want these wings pretty big. This is the top part of the fairy wings. This is gonna be the bottom part. Uh, we'll have it come here and we'll just kind of like swoop it like this a little bit. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. I just pulled that out just a little bit. Let's see, I wanna pull this down just a little bit. Like that. There's a little cut into this back here. I'm not a big fan of that, but there we go. All right, I'm gonna make sure that the width is down on all these. And we're gonna need to duplicate this because we're gonna need a second texture. Oops. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna need two textures for this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in a new image, I'm just going to draw, like, a butterfly wing. I'm going to get a general idea. Alright, that's going to be, like, the top part. And the bottom part's going to be like this. And now there's going to be color in it, but I'm going to put the color in later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top part of the butterfly wing. I'm going to go over to a hair texture that I have. And I'm going to stretch it. 
in this peculiar manner. Actually, we're going to have to rotate it first. This is going to be extra weird and deformed. Like that, because that's how the stroke is. It starts top to bottom. All right. <clears throat> and on a new layer, I'm going to color it in. And I'm going to keep this file open. So uh, there's going to be some Unity work. Or if you don't want to keep this file open, at least keep it in separate layers open for when you're ready to do the Unity work. I'm going to take this and uh, duplicate, and then edit, transform flip horizontally. There we go. And now we have our butterfly wings. Um, so we're gonna export it as PNG. Throw it in here, we're gonna uh, butterfly fairy wings. Kind of the same thing. Alright, that's the top part. Now we gotta do the bottom part. We have a butterfly in the sky, a pack of fly twice as high. Alright, now we're going to come over to the textures since we made our textures. Uh, import. We have it in the helm. We want the top one here. Oh, there we go. Uh, and for the bottom one, import the bottom butterfly colors, and we'll remove that. All right. Now they're a little like all janky and all over the place, but we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that. <clears throat> so we have these. We need to adjust the offset. Yeah. And with this, we need to adjust the offset. Uh, right about, right about, meow. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm pulling those out just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, so for the top wings, I want them to kind of, whose wing am I, oh, I'm working on this side, okay. I want it to just kind of barely touch together, but we're also going to kind of give it a little little arc. So we're gonna pull this in and then just boop! Just gonna kind of like kiss a little bit. Then this is gonna come up and just kind of kiss a little bit. In fact this one I'm gonna kind of kill the width a little bit. Bring it down to like seven eight and I'm gonna do that for over here too. Right about there. I'll take this up here. Actually, this one I need to adjust just a little bit on the offset. Look the other way. There we go. And I'm going to take this part and pull it out here. So it'll be like that. Now these aren't attached now, but we will go do that over in Unity, along with adding a little effect to it. So we'll go over to camera, and we're going to want to export, and we want to make sure the material reduction you're going to ena enable hair combination should be unchecked. And oh, actually, you know what we need to do? We need dead bones. <laughs> All right, so we're in hair. Let's go to bones. We need dead bones. We're gonna grab two of them. Create a bone group. We're gonna make the fixed point as far as possible, and for this, I only want one point if possible. Same with this one. Create a bone group. One point over as far as possible. Um. 
And that's so it's going to kind of move like as one cell. I mean, we can add another, but it's going to kind of like bow a little bit when it moves. So let me show you like what it looks like when you add more than one point. So this one has three points. And you see how it's kind of like whoppy, whereas this one's more stiff. And it might be okay, like if you add, maybe change it to two, not the textures, please, the bones. So it still has movement, but this one has like a bit more of a, like a bounce, I guess. And if you're going to do that, I would definitely take this and adjust the smoothness. And hopefully that'll fix it so it doesn't look too bad. And you see how that's kind of like sliding. Um, so that's why I'm going to keep it to, for mine I'm going to keep it to one, but if you make yours you can keep it to whatever you want. Alright, so we're going to go to uh, export. We're going to export this. And this is going to be... Uh, Butterfly wing test. Butterfly. So we're going to open up Unity. Do a new project. 3D. We'll do this wing tests. Great. Alright, so we have our Unity open and I'm using Unity uh, 2019.2.4 F1. Um, and what I'm going to need to do is install Uni VRM. Uh, there are many different versions of it and many different versions of Unity. And the one that I use is um, Uni VRM.53. Uh, so I just dragged and dropped that right over here in the assets, and I'm just going to import. Um, various versions have different errors. I do not know the answers to those errors. I am sorry, you're going to have to ask the person who created the UniVRM. Uh, but yeah, now it's in there. Now uh, we're also going to need uh, the bone weight transfer uh, package which uh, you can find the links to that down in the description, I guess. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import our model. All right, and we pull her in here. We're gonna open up some of these real quick so we can see neck, head, then we have wing. We're gonna, just, we're gonna rename these a little bit just so it's easier, so it should be Wing one, wing two. And now we're gonna go over, uh, right click, open prefab. Um, you'll notice that it doesn't keep its nicknames here, but that's fine. We're gonna open up our tool for the bone weight transfer. And we're gonna move this from the head, which is the middle one, to the upper chest and we're going to select both of these. Uh, I use the shift button and move them to the upper chest. All right, I'm just kind of like collapsing some of those. All right, so I'm going to gla grab the first one and I'm going to move it over. Grab the second one and move it over. And now we go down to the hairs, and now we have to select every hair that's attached to these wings, and we're going to move them over. Move it over. Move it over. And move it over. This is a little more time consuming on that one. That's fine. And then we're going to go back. Alright, so now that we've attached our wings to the back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little different for this. So over here we have like our different folders. We also have them over here, so we'll piece of over here. And we're going to show an explorer. When we do that, we're gonna get a window like this. And remember how I said don't 
uh, get rid of these things yet. Well, this is why. So we're gonna open this up here. So this is, whoops. So this is the regular wings. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, take this and lower the opacity. What did I lower it to about 50? We'll lower it to 60%. And that's just the color layer. I'm going to now select these. I'm going to take it over to this hair layer and drop it there. And I'm going to kind of like turn the opacity to zero and then merge it below so it still has that same name. And then I'm just going to save. And I'm going to do the same for this bottom part, these bottom wings. explorer that we were given we should be able to see the bottom one which is here and paste that on top merge them and save now they should have updated here which means they should have updated here well, now what we're gonna do is go over into the materials we're gonna select these and we're gonna go Z transparency and we're going to go the disease transparency. So now they are transparent. Butterfly wings. So you can see through them. It's similar to how I did like the semi-transparent clothes. Um, and this will just be a neat little effect in any videos that you make using your model. Uh, but yep, that is how you would do these butterfly wings with the transparency. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below and like, comment, subscribe, all that other good jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Butterfly in the sky, I hope that twice as high. Meow. Okay. <laughs> Look, I know I'm dumb. I don't need you to tell me I'm dumb. I know I'm dumb. Also, I'll have these textures available for free uh, to uh, members.